So one night I was on TikTok and I came across a bunch of small businesses, especially Toronto-based. So what is a shopaholic to do when they see a bunch of small businesses that could use your support? She orders and she buys them. So fast forward one month after buying all of these items, I finally got them all in the mail and I'm going to be reviewing the shipping, the quality, the packaging, the marketing, the inclusivity, the everything. You guys, small businesses put so much more love into their products and everything and I'm so excited to dive into this video. Hello, happy May 27th. I'm getting so confused what day it is every single day. But kind of exciting news. My mom just sold her house. So she's getting rid of a bunch of stuff. And I was like, do you want the piano? She's like, no, you can have the piano. So I brought my desk upstairs and now I have a piano here. And I know you're like, Adeline, it's brown. It doesn't really go with the vibe yet, yet. I was thinking of painting it white. Guys, this is a piano. It used to be my dad's old piano at my grandparents' house. So it's just like been passed down to generations. And I think we could just like whoop, spruce her up with a little white paint or something like that. But the reason why I'm getting ready is because one, my final package from my purchasing small business haul, which I'm gonna do today, finally came in the mail. It's been like a month I've been waiting for this one package. She's here. So I'm gonna do that later today and you guys are gonna see all of the clothing brands. I tried to pick some that were Toronto based. Local, small clothing brands to support during this time. And we're gonna spill the good, the good, bad, the ugly, the shipping, everything. The other reason why I'm getting ready is because I don't know if you guys remember in my last vlog, but I took pictures of Marc Jacobs and they didn't like them. So I'm gonna reshoot that. That's something that you guys don't see behind the scenes. When you do these brand deal photos, sometimes the brand won't like it. Like, it's pretty common that you would have to reshoot an image or reshoot a video. So, I'm going to do that now before the sun goes down because I'm starting this vlog a little bit late. Oh, you know when a mascara, it just gets like dry and then the wand becomes like a little bit clumpy. That's the best. That's the prime of the mascara. That's how this one is right now. I feel like when you first open a lot of mascaras, it's like liquidy at first. But girl, when she dries out that's the one good thing that happens when something dries out we love to see <laughs> Ooh, I didn't even have to use another mascara. My lashes, I really like them today. Okay, I think it'd be cute to incorporate some flowers somehow. I just looked at that last time lapse and I look like a dumbass, like taking pictures of myself in the grass. But I think they turn out cute. There's a couple good ones. I would like to first off say this video is inspired by Nikki and I am not a shopaholic. I am just helping out the economy in a tough time right now. So that's at least what I tell myself to make myself feel better. <gasps> I'm going to be reviewing five stores. I tried to find small businesses that were locally owned. So from Toronto, some of them are, some of them aren't. And here's the twist. All of these brands I pretty much just found on TikTok. I literally just went on TikTok. I searched up small businesses and it just popped up. Cause I feel like TikTok goes by your location. But yes, I'm so I'm excited. I have opened a couple of these things because I couldn't wait, but a lot of these things I haven't opened yet and I'm really excited about it. I'm going to be reviewing the quality, the packaging, the price. I don't want to review the shipping time because I feel like it's unfair. I feel like small businesses, they just put so much love and a lot of their things are handmade. So I feel like it's unfair to judge the shipping time, especially with what's going on right now. Like I feel like it's unfair to be like, this person took one month. But yes, okay. The first store that I want to show you guys is actually not a clothing item. They're bandanas and buns. <gasps> I was trying to find matching outfits for Blue and I. So there's this company, it's called Norm and Ollie, and they basically make matching bandanas and scrunchies. So here's the thing, I got this like a while ago, but I really wanted to feature it in the video. And I even have one for Lola. <laughs> which a lot of you guys have been asking. Lola lives with Matt. She doesn't live with me anymore, but I see her whenever I have to like drop something off at Matt's house or whatever. I miss her. <laughs> also, a lot of you guys have been asking, I just want to clear this all up right now. Adeline, why are you decorating your house when you're going to move to the city at the end of the year? I think I mentioned I'm going to move to my condo at the end of the year, but I think plans just changed. Now I have my visa, so I think I'm going to spend majority of my time in my house in Canada as opposed to my condo and just rent out that condo and try and get the mortgage paid and spend time in my LA apartment as well. So I'm staying here. We're staying 
staying in the house. But back to the products of so this, I think is their yellow polka dot set. And I think that this is the cutest. You basically put it on the collar. Blue always has to smell her collar when I take it off. Does anybody else's dog do that? Okay, this doesn't fit. This is Blue's closet and I put all of her leashes up here. Ooh, we haven't used this one in a while. Now I can show you. You slip the collar through. Beep boopity bop. She knows. It's just a collar, baby. You put the collar on like so. So now I can match. We're matching. <laughs> this is a really bad bun. Do you love me? You like it? <laughs> Yellow looks so fabulous on your skin tone. Do you like it? Paw, paw, paw. Thank you. I also got this lemon pattern and they put blue. <gasps> custom i don't know i think that i just i especially love watching nikki's videos like this just to like find new unique places i feel like everybody shops at the same stores finding these new small businesses is just like a cute way to have cute unique things and i love these videos like this you guys can follow all of these pages i'll show them all of their instagrams this one's norman ollie but i think quality cuteness creativity i read this a nine out of ten all right now on to the clothes Package came first and can we just can I just say I don't know I just seeing this on my front doorstep just made me so happy small businesses you guys I've noticed they put a lot of love into their packaging and it's just like a whole experience opening it getting the package seeing the products everything so this is Ali and Liv swimwear I think they're Toronto based and I got three bathing suits and I think I love these bags that they come in because I feel like when you are just at the beach you're done your suit is soaking wet you don't want to wear your bathing suit after you go to the beach because then you're gonna get that vagina thing and where you're like you get like an infection in your vagina and you have to you have to take off your bathing suit after you get out of the water that's all i'm saying girl <laughs> being a girl you have to pee after you do your thing you know what i'm saying they don't talk about this in high school <laughs> you have to learn the hard way but girl if you know you know but i don't know i think that this bag it's just this plastic bag i think it's really cute sorry none of my nails we are all in quarantine roots growing out nails not good everything's a little bit messy we accept but i don't know you just pop your swimsuit in this bag that way it doesn't get wet in your backpack whatever it's clear. I think it's cute. So I think I'm most excited about these two videos. Uh. First off, oh my god, it's a handwritten note. Big companies don't do this. They don't write handwritten notes, obviously, because they're a big company. That nobody could do that. But this is their Instagram if you guys want to follow. But I'm really excited about this swimsuit. Like, how unique is this? It's a one-shoulder bathing suit. It has matching bottoms, and I like these bottoms because you can kind of move them up to the top so that you look very nice and curvy. You look like hourglass. I'm really excited. I got these in a medium, and from what it feels like it's very thick like it's like thick and stretchy the tags on there they have the hygienic thing <laughs> I'm excited to try this on. Okay. And then this red one. Whenever I think of red bathing suits, I'm like, oh, Alexis Ren, do you come with me? She's like, in Greece, she's like, come with me. Ha 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 ha. And you can like see her butt. It's like jiggling. <laughs> in Greece, Santorini. She's strolling around in Mykonos with Jay Alvarez. You know, those are just the vibes when I think of a red bathing suit. So it just looks like this. Ties in the back. Okay, we're not gonna judge here. I already wore it and there's a little bit of a stain, but we're not gonna look at that. And don't you be judging me. I don't, yo, some of you guys are gonna be like, ew, Adeline, that's Tima. If you're a girl, don't you ever look at me in the face and tell me that weird shit doesn't go on your underwear. It happens to all of us. It's natural. Different things come out. Sometimes it's I'm not gonna get too into it. Don't act like that doesn't happen to you. It happens, okay? Relax. <laughs> we'll put her in the wash. But I got this in a size medium too. I feel like it's, here's the thing. I have big tits, but I have a small butt. So I'm like a medium in my boobs and a small in my butt, but I'm a crazy manifester and I like to order a medium on both so that I can work out and they both fit. It's just like motivation, I know I'm a little crazy. But I got a medium. I feel like this might be a little bit small in my boob. There might be a little bit of an under boob action, but I'm not mad about it. I definitely feel like this one's more coverage and then this one they said they sent me this one as extra this is their Ibiza set in lilac they're launching very soon please include if you wish oh they watch my videos and I'm like ah! it's so crazy how small the world is oh my god guys you want your boobs to look good I love these triangle bathing suits and then you just move you move the boobs a little bit farther away oh, and it like pushes it up oh it's so good and then the matching bottoms you know what now that I look at it I'm actually excited about this I feel like it's gonna look good on tan skin tones it's like purple complementary color to yellow hello she got that purple uh -oh. 
hello. I need to stop. Okay, now overall, what do I think about Ali and Liv's swimwear? First of all, I didn't mention this to you guys. The inclusivity in this. She got a white girl. She got a black girl. She got an Asian girl. Hello, Asian representation. I don't know. I love seeing stuff like this. So I feel like small brands are also really good about inclusivity. Also, they show all the different ways that you can style this bathing suit, which we love a good four for one. So what do I think of Ali and Liv's swimwear? I think I'm going to rate this a nine and a half out of ten. I think the quality is so good. I love the bags that it comes in. Ships super fast. Love the packaging. The only thing is I, I feel like some tops fit well, some tops are a little bit small. But other than that, I think it's really good. I think just like look at the reviews and make sure that, you know, things don't run small, things don't run big. girl girl young muse her shipping lasts longer than all of your boyfriends combined this shipping i swear to god i ordered her may 9th and she came in today which is may 27th it's only like 19 days which is fine like honestly this is not even that bad i'm just exaggerating but she was the last package to come in but i am so excited i felt like i couldn't film this video without getting this in the mail because i was so excited about it i remember just ordering all the things and i was like ah! Because I saw her on her TikTok. Her TikTok, she hand makes all of the items and it looks like super comfy fabric. And I just like, I imagine like Bella Hadid, Gigi Hadid. Here, let me just show you. Let me just show you. But really cute. She has her own custom packaging. And we got three items. Wow. I'm really surprised that everything fit in this little thing. My receipt. Here it is. Ooh. We got a little sticker. I think she's Toronto based too. Yeah. Made in Toronto. I love this aesthetic. Aw. A handwritten note. Okay. <laughs> I think like, this is my analogy. You know how we love the f boys? We love them because they keep us waiting. They like keep us on our toes, you know what I mean? That's how I feel with this clothing brand. She kept me on my toes. I was checking the, the tracking number like every day. I was like, where the f is this package? Where the f is this package? Where the f is this package? I was going crazy. And I think now that it's finally here, I'm like obsessed and I'm like, oh, it was worth the wait. Okay, so first of all, let me show you before I overhype it. We got the bra. You're not intimidating with your little yellow bandana blue. Come here, come here. Relax, nobody's there. I got this sports bra i think it's so soft and it's i don't know you can tell that this is hand sewn like there's a lot of love put into it there's an elastic band there's no seam on it which i kind of like the look of it and then we got the skirt Ooh, she said cinched waist hello guys i never wear skirts and i'm really feeling myself in this one so that's kind of saying a lot Ooh. oh my i love when companies do this they like cinch the waist and they make you look so and she has her logo right there. This is really cool. She has her tag like this. I think this reminds me of like Aritzia or like those really expensive brands with like the little clothing pin and then it has like her website and everything. Okay, and then finally we have the gray sweatpants. Guys, I don't know why I have been craving just plain gray sweatpants recently and Sierra has these Brandy Melville ones and I remember I like wore it at her house at a sleepover one time and I was like, oh, I need this in my life and then coronavirus happened and now Brandy Melville is closed and they don't even have their online website open so i'm like i just want these gray sweatpants and guys this is so soft this is like my merch <laughs> little blog <laughs> shop at alimore.com but she has her tag here the elastic band's really nice we got the pockets her tag here her tag here cinched at the bottom and like all the stitching is really nice and it feels really good quality these sweatpants are everything that i wanted them to be like they're so comfy they're thick they're baggy like dare i say these are better than the brandy melville ones i feel like all these smaller brands are a little bit more on the pricey side which obviously it makes sense when you're more of a smaller brand you have to, you can't really like buy things in bulk so you have to the fabric is more expensive when you don't buy it in bulk and when you hand make it it's just yourself so you have to like make the money and then you have to do shipping and to do every all those things so i feel like small businesses although they are a little bit more expensive than if you were to buy something from like a big brand you can definitely tell that there's love put into it you know that the stitch is gonna be good when they ship it out they make sure that it's perfect whereas a big brand they don't have time to look at every single item you know what I mean I don't know the fabric is super soft she said she makes you look skinny the tag is really cute. I think it's really flattering. This definitely gives me high-end Bella Hadid, Hailey Bieber vibes. I think she's super versatile. You can wear it in the summer. You can wear it. Oh my god, that's my alarm to go to bed. <laughs> you can wear it in the winter. She had all the different sets. She had gray, she had white. So I think I'm gonna rate Young Muse a nine and a half out of ten. Because I want to save my ten. I don't I don't know if I'm gonna use my ten, but it's definitely I love the quality. I think that it's very like Aritzia, super expensive vibes. And I'm 
really happy with my purchase even though it took 20 days to come i understand she had to hand make it girl love you shop young muse wait what's their instagram it's young muse shop and they always have like the most aesthetic feeds like they just know how to market a Toronto based company and what intrigued me the most is their TikTok. I'm going to show you guys their TikTok really quick because you'll see how much love they put into their packaging, how much love they put into their customers and how much love is put into their whole brand. So this is Labs. Their Instagram is the Silk Labs like this. And can I just say this just makes me so happy because it reminds me of Harry Potter. Look at that. Oh, oh I, what is that called? Like a little stamp? What is it called? Imprinting. I don't know. Ooh, she also just launched Silk Sleep Masks. But basically Basically, Labs is a silk company. I don't want to ruin it. I'm like, I'm sad. I don't want to ruin it. Ooh. They're basically a silk company and silk is so great for your hair. That's why people have silk pillowcases, silk scrunchies, silk eye masks. Silk is so good. Doesn't collect bacteria. And a handwritten note. This is so cute. Hi, Adeline. We appreciate using your platform to celebrate Toronto-based small businesses. All of our silk goods are hand-sewn in Toronto with love. Please enjoy your skinny silk headband, pistachio silk scrunchies, neutral scrunchies, and of course our lemon silk scrunchies. <gasps> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, a headband? Ooh, this is cute. I guess this is just like a silk headband. And then I got four scrunchies. I wish you guys could feel through the camera, but they're very soft. I'm realizing I like, bought a lot of scrunchies. My Visco girl's coming out. But you know when you feel, it's just like, it's a tight elastic. Like it's not a cheap, it's a tight, nice elastic. She's not gonna break. I mean, I think she feels good on the hair. Like it doesn't feel like it's gonna come out. And I even sometimes I just like to wear scrunchies as a little accessory. I'll just have it on my wrist and be like, hello, little old me. Oh my God, I was so, so small and so innocent and so cute. I had just scrunchies on my arm. I just want to my way through life. I don't know. It feels really good quality and you could see even the stitching. I know. I think it looks really good. I don't know. I feel like there's not much to review about scrunchies. She feels really soft. She's really cute. She's really thick. I love a good thick scrunchie. Silk is great. Doesn't collect bacteria. Good for your hair. And I'm going to rate this a 9 out of 10 because I love the scrunchies. She threw in a little thing. She had the handwritten note. The freaking Harry Potter stamp thing gets me every time. Oh, another thing about small business I feel like they sell out so much. I'll, a lot of the times I was looking at small businesses to order stuff from and there was one website where everything was just sold out. And I was like, I want to give you my money. Why aren't you letting me? Or even just like pre-sale or something. I got so excited about so many brands and I was like, God damn it. I just want to give you my money. I just want your products. What the heck? That's another thing about small businesses. But I think it's kind of cool because then you know that you have a limited edition item and nobody else will have it but you at your school. Cool. at your workplace at your quarantine house because <laughs> nobody's leaving you're going anywhere and i wanted to save this one for last this is 437 swimwear girl i have seen so many influencers post about it so many of my friends have it whitney simmons queen of fitness Addison Ray. I don't know. I've just seen it all over Instagram and I was like, okay, I need to know what the hype is all about this 437 swimwear line. And their Instagram is just so aesthetically pleasing. Like, <sighs> artiste. She's a true artist whoever runs that account i don't know but hey i couldn't i couldn't help it i had to open it i was really excited about it but guys look at this packaging this is literally a pr box this is so cute it says 437 and their instagram is just literally the number 437 but look at it's like a cloud i want to like reuse this in my house somehow it's just so cute you can't not use it like it's jewelry jewelry old or something i don't know i thought it was really cute and it has a little note right here oh all of their bathing suits they it's like their thing where they show you different ways to wear them all oh 437 began with two best friends on the hunt for the perfect bikini one that was curve hugging and meticulously cut didn't exist so they designed it themselves a few years later 437 is now known for their universally flattering suits and apparel and has grown to a team of 11 girls all under the age of 26 oh hello we love to see some ceos handwritten note so cute okay guys okay i know okay i already opened it okay three suits are you ready for i'm gonna show you my favorite first okay i was really excited and i posted on an instagram story really quick this bathing suit i didn't expect to like it so much this is a 
top bathing suit. And at first you're like, oh, it's just a top. But I saw Addison Rae wearing this bathing suit, so I wanted to try out this bathing suit. And she has the matching buttons. Guys, I cannot stress this enough. This bathing suit is so flattering and really comfortable. Also, really random, I get like pimples on my back because of my hair. I feel like all girls do it. Totally normal. Also, have a couple bug bites back there. So, you know, it's just nice like having that covered up. <laughs> and I don't know. I think that this could also be a really cute top just to wear all the time. I just like, I, I wore this bathing suit and I, I was imagining myself on a yacht. Expensive, rich, hello. But the fabric is very stretchy. It's kind of like, I don't know how to explain it, but it's like a slippery material. I don't know how to explain it, but that one's my favorite. My second favorite, I think I love this one the most because of the color. Actually, I don't, know. I don't know if I have a third favorite because I don't, this one's not my least favorite, but this is just like a tube top and it's this mauve color. This is like giving me skims vibes. Hello. With the matching bottoms and I love these because they're not like, people are gonna hate me for this. Don't hate me. You know the high-waisted bathing suits? Girl, I don't like them, okay? They just like, they look like a diaper. I don't think they're cute, but girl, this is different. This isn't just like a high-waisted bathing suit that has like, it looks like a diaper. This is the high-waisted bathing suit where it's like long and skinny and it just, it looks like you raised your bathing suit up a little bit, if you know what I mean. Like it's, it's high-waisted, but it's not the diaper high-waisted, if you know what I mean. You guys know what I mean. Everyone knows what I mean. They just don't want to admit it, okay? Okay, don't hate me. If you love your high-waisted bathing suits, girl, do you. I respect it. You love what you want to love. But me personally, I don't like them. But this, I don't know how to explain it. It's like a high-waisted, but it's not like diaper high-waisted. And it like, it looks flattering on the butt. Oh, I also feel like on these like long bathing suits, oh, they make your butt look a bigger if that makes sense it's like <sighs> whereas the diaper ones they're like mm -mm, they don't make your look good and then the last bathing suit i thought that this one was super cute because it came with a little scrunchie i have so many scrunchies i didn't realize how many scrunchies i was getting and then this is really cool this is what the thing was about this shows you all the different ways that you can wear this bathing suit top my personal favorite way is this like off the shoulder way asymmetrical but it's basically it just looks like this you can wear it in so many ways the bottoms are a little bit big but i did do a size up so it's, it's stretchy but it, i think it just got like a size too big i should have just got a small she is a pastel pink but my camera is overexposed so you cannot really see and then that same high-waisted but not diaper bikini hello and i got it in a medium it's like a little bit big but we're working out and we're gonna fit into it manifestation okay call me crazy it's what we're gonna do but i think guys you know how i said i was saving my 10 i think i'm gonna give my 10 to this 43 seven company because girl the packaging is just so cute i want to literally reuse this packaging i think the bathing suits are super cute super high quality they're very unique there's different ways that you can style them their instagram is super helpful and with the note it was super helpful it shipped pretty quickly and the colors are cute girl i think i saved my 10 for this ah, look at blue she's sleeping with her bandana hi i love you also recently i my brother got me obsessed with it they're these brookside dark chocolate i think Haley was the first person that showed me these chocolates <gasps> they're so expensive they're like five dollars but they just really hit the spot no man can hit the spot like this I also feel like they're pretty inclusive on their Instagram, which I don't know a little spot in my heart for brands that are inclusive I'm like, oh. I love Aerie. Aerie is my favorite brand. They don't do retouching at all But I hope that you guys enjoyed my haul and I hope that you appreciate that I tried it all on It is a actual sport to suck in that much now that I did my try-on portion dinner time <laughs> Girl, I wasn't gonna try on bathing suits all bloated. Mm -mm, not on the internet I want to be feeling good like I should doing circles all around the neighborhood Hood. I just want to show you guys my fridge and how satisfying it is. Ha! My goal is I want to get a couple of these Voss bottles whenever I'm like at the gas station and need a water bottle. I want to save these and refill them with, I've seen people, they meal prep their f people. Meal prep their waters. And you're like, Adeline, that's crazy. But I am one of them. I am one of them. And it looks so pretty. So I have one with lemons. And I think if I had more, I would put like lemons and strawberries or like oranges. Like you can have a huge wide array of different kinds. And I meal prep my little matcha drinks too. That way I actually drink my matcha and I don't just drink my coffee i made it my goal to try and drink more matcha as opposed to coffee just because it's healthier and less sugar and trying to be on that healthy grind sorry that's my fridge i meal prep some pasta back here i made my pasta and garlic bread Ooh. also i see your guys's comments and you're like i don't do like a meal prep video like how you cook your meals and how you meal prep and stuff like that i'm like girl do you actually want to know that like sometimes you guys be asking for videos you don't even like it 
You don't even watch it. So I'm like, do you really want it? Let me know and I'll do it if you guys really want it. Mm. <laughs> it feels so good. Oh, what? decided to wake up from her nap once she heard the microwave go off. Yeah. You want a piece? Sit. Paw. Stand. Excuse me. Stand. Circle. Sit. Good girl. I am probably gonna wear that gray set tomorrow. Also, I don't know if you guys have watched my last vlog where I kind of do like a PR unboxing, but I showed you guys this Tarte Jelly, what is it? Jelly Glaze, and it's become one of my favorite products. It's just like, it's very moisturizing, like the Rosebud Salve, which this one, you guys know, for years I've always used this one, but this one just like has a gloss to it and a color to it, and it's not sticky. That's the thing, it's like, it's the best of both worlds. It's like lip gloss, but not sticky and moisturizing. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Wait. Since I got the piano today, I was like, what if, I wonder how it would look like with a backdrop. <laughs> she said, Oh my god, I don't even know how to play the piano. This is the only song that I know actually. Ready for this? that I know. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I hope you found some small clothing brands or dog brands or just small brands in general that you love and can support. But today's tip of the day goes to quote underscore four underscore queens on Instagram. She just tagged me and that's how you become tip of the day. Their tip of the day says if you have good thoughts, they will shine out of your face like sunbeams and you'll always look lovely. I love this tip of the day because I truly believe in order to be a hot girl, you just have to simply believe that you are one. There's no like switch where it's like you dye your hair and you're a hot girl you do this and you're a hot girl it's simply deciding that you are one having confidence confidence is sexy and confidence is hot I don't know I feel like hotness and sexiness it comes in all different shapes and colors and sizes and everything it's just all about confidence and confidence isn't the kind of thing where it's just like overnight you have it it's just working towards it every single day looking at yourself in the mirror and being happy with what you got saying thank you for my legs for getting me from point A to point B thank you for my abs for <laughs> doing the workouts and my arms for picking up my my matcha drinks for ordering my online orders like what is wrong with me but your body serves so many purposes and your body is so many amazing beautiful things for you i think it's just obviously being grateful for your body is the first step goodness gracious that was a loud yawn you literally went <sighs> This is cute too because you can see blue in the little outro. And today's merch shout out of the day goes to my sunshine Adeline. She's wearing her Girls Sporting Girls hoodie and her calendar, which I haven't changed my calendar in so long. Oh, it's on the right month. We're in May right now. Guys, look at June. <laughs> This is one of my favorite photos. Look at her face. Also, can we talk how it's almost June? I still feel like we're in March right now. It does not feel real at all. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. So excited to paint this piano white. I think it'll look so cute. That's an outro or something. Maybe I can -na 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 -na. become Mozart and learn how to play the piano. We'll see lots of home decor vlogs coming soon. If you guys want meal prep vlogs, let me know. I don't know. I've had days where, like today, where I am just like feeling motivated. I'm feeling good. I like want to film a vlog. I'm working out do this do that And then there's days where I literally feel like there's no purpose for me in life for me to do anything for me Like everything just feels like a black hole and like nothing I don't know and it's hard for me to feel motivated to film a vlog I just literally feel like laying in bed all day and feeling sorry for myself with trying to stop I'm working with my life coach on it And we're trying to like build a morning routine for me and a night routine for me Just to like get my day started eating healthy working out doing things that make me me feel good just to like set myself up for success more days out of the week so I'm really trying to do more daily vlogs but just like bear with me guys I'm just really struggling on this mental health journey but I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog I'll see you guys in my next daily vlog tomorrow same place same time love you guys and yeah I don't know I also just wanted to add like you're not alone in this pandemic I a lot of the times I even have to remind myself about this I feel like I'm even telling you guys this just to remind myself this you're not alone in this pandemic pandemic and this quarantine I know it feels very lonely and it feels like you're never gonna see your friends and like you're never gonna do all the goals that you want to achieve and like you have like no motivation or no purpose but you do like one thing that I've learned being a youtuber being self-employed working from home
home is that work is really just what you make it and your day is really just what you make it if you set your day up for success and you you schedule your day you plan your day you plan your week even girl that just makes the the biggest difference for me and I don't know I hope that this helps you guys because I know that I don't know everybody's situation is different but this these are just things that have helped me during this time but I love you guys thank you for watching I always see your guys comments you're like your videos are getting me through quarantine and honestly interacting with you guys makes me feel like I'm talking to someone so it's really making my quarantine too I was gonna try and vlog a little bit more I love you guys I'm just ranting so much but it is because I'm not talking to anybody except for blue you become like the people that you hang around the most I'm starting to act like blue and my father. Okay, bye. <laughs>